Welcome everyone. Today we will be talking about the prompt playground feature of Arise. So when you look at the wide breadth of solutions that Arise offers for our Gen AI observability platform, especially on the user's evaluation and iteration stage where they really want to iterate on the prompt templates, Arise offers a prompt playground solution that lets you run new prompts, replay your prompts, and then run your prompts against new data sets. So that's kind of what we're going to look today and try to understand how by using prompt playground, we can easily evaluate and iterate on our application. So let's get started. So when I jump into Arise, I have access to my tracing page. So for some context here, we actually have a RAG chatbot built on Arise documentation here. And we have a lot of questions about Arise and the responses. So when we look at this example query, we see that a user came in and asked this question. How do I use the SDK to upload a ranking model? And then it gave a certain output. And then here, you can actually see what's happening behind the scenes one by one in order to answer this question, including the final LLM call that includes the input messages, prompt templates, and the outputs. So first, if I take a look at my evaluations here, I can see that this question and response is hallucinated and incorrect because the reference text does not provide any specific information to answer the question. So at this step, I can either improve my retrieval strategy or I can change my prompt so that this output at least say something like, I do not know, I don't have enough context to answer this question. So let's kind of try to do that, right? So let's try to change our prompt so that our input and output actually matches and it doesn't hallucinate anymore where it actually says, I do not know. So if you go to the LLM span on Arise, you will see this prompt playground show up. So if you click on the prompt playground, you will be taken to our playground page where you can see the system prompt, the user prompt, and all the variables in order to answer the question. So what, I'm, what I can do is like, Arise actually has a copilot underneath where you can actually ask Arise to optimize the prompt for you. So for example, I'm gonna basically say, optimize the prompt so that it says, I do not know when there is not enough context to answer this question. And then as soon as I click optimize, what's gonna happen is our copilot will start analyzing the original prompt. And you can actually see the analysis here. It says analysis of the original prompt. It's gonna do an explanation of improvements. And then finally, you will be able to see the optimized prompt here once the copilot optimization finishes. And now I can see that my system prompt actually got changed here. There's a third bullet point here where it says, if the context does not provide enough information to answer the query, respond with I do not know. If I want, I can give more feedback here to optimize the prompt even more, but I'm just gonna accept it right now because this is exactly what I want. And you can see that now my new prompt, optimized prompt is available here. And here I can pick any large language model I want to run this prompt. Right now I wanna use GPT-4 and I have my data here, so I can simply click on run. And here, you can see that this was my first output where it was hallucinated. Now it actually said, I do not know. So now we kind of fixed this hallucination on this specific example. So what we can do right now is like, this is actually cool that we fixed the hallucination, but let's say we want to also test it across different examples, right? Because it might have worked for this example, but what if actually kind of broke all the other examples, all the other interactions. So what I'm gonna do is like, I'm just gonna quickly copy this prompt and then I'm gonna load a data set. So on Arise, you can curate your own data sets and you can load them into the prompt playground. So I'm gonna pick my LLM spans here, where I have some LLM spans that are hallucinated and I'm gonna load my data set here. So you can see like I have like five examples here of LLM spans. And what I can do is I can paste the prompt that I optimized here and now I can run this across a data set. So let's do that. Let's click on run. And right now it's generating output. And you can see that it said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right? So it actually fixed all the hallucinations in this data set where the output at, at first was like just some random output with some hallucination that really did not have any context. But thanks for adding this. We were, we actually now fixed hallucination. And I can confirm that this prompt actually worked for other examples as well. And you, can, you always have the option to dynamically change your data set and add more examples to the data set so that you're more sure that this actually works for a wide range of use cases. 
But again, this is kind of what I want to show with Prompt Playground, where you have the ability to optimize your prompts using your own copilot. We can also change the prompts here itself. We can also change the input variables if you want, just to see how they would react. And then at the end, the goal is to replay your prompts in a production or pre-production environment so that you can easily iterate on your GenAI application. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.